It is very important to communicate with your child. Look out for every opportunity to communicate with your child from a very young age. You can do maths, English, even spelling, second language Afrikaans, even life skills in any given situation. I'll show you how. We want our children to make independent choices and to take responsibility for every choice that they make. But we have to teach them how to make choices. Let's have a look at these cute kittens. By watching and enjoying them, we will learn a couple of important things as well as life lessons. By looking at these cute kittens, we will learn a couple of maths concepts that the kids will never forget. Think about basic math concepts that you will be able to learn from in each new situation. Ask questions to the kids about each of these concepts. By asking questions, you motivate the kids and they will explore more and find the answers themselves. Let's think about color. Now you can ask questions about color. Which colors do you see? Ask questions that would motivate the kids to think for themselves. Like, why are cats not pink? They might think about camouflaging. Now you can ask questions concerning shapes, like what is the shape of a cat's head and his ears? That's a fun way to start a drawing. Watch the cat carefully. Can you see that the pupils of his eyes changes shape from night till day and from light to shade. Is a cat's tail oblong or short and thick? Now you can have fun counting the body parts of the cat. How many eyes? How many ears? Can you count the cat's legs? How many noses? Let's make the counting a bit more interesting. Look at two kittens. How many ears can you count? How many eyes? How many legs? And how many noses? Let's challenge the kids a bit. How many cats will there be if I count 20 legs? How many ears would five cats have? How many noses would five cats have? Cats can be very playful. You can learn to write the numbers with these playful cats. Pack them with sticks on the grass or write it with your fingers in the sand. 
fun. This cat is concentrating on some of its first steps outside. You will also have to concentrate very hard if you do your sums in your workbook. How much would one cat plus another cat be? Two cats, of course! You can also exercise your number combinations with this cat picture. Write the number in its head and see how many combinations of the eight you can build. Make it interesting. You know your colors, you know your shapes, you also know how to count. Sums are getting easier and so is logical thinking. Now you can sit back, relax and play with your friends because you know how to do maths very creatively. You can learn English in no time just by looking at these playful kittens. Learn your sounds of phonics. K A T With what sound does cat start with? Which sound is in the middle? And which sound is in the end? Can you read the word cat? Well done! Now you can use this word cat to make sentences. First, orally, and if you are ready, you can write them down. I am a cat. The cat runs. This is a cute cat. You can use these sentences to ask language questions. For instance, can you think of a word that rhymes with cat? Mat. Can you think of a synonym for cute? What about pretty? Any sentence always starts with a capital letter and always ends with a full stop. You are getting so clever. Now that you know how to say the sounds, how to make words and how to build sentences, you can start telling a story. The best way to start with a story is to tell it orally. The older kids can try writing a paragraph or the story in their workbook. If you decide to talk orally, you can give some facts about the cat. Describe the cat, how many ears, tell us about his whiskers, or you can try to be more argumentative. Maybe you will be a great orator one day. You can say something like, Why are cats better pets than dogs? Now you have to convince me. Cats can keep me warm during the winter. By curling up, no dog would do that. Or you can say, Cats don't need that much bathing time. They do it by themselves. While dogs will take up a lot of your time. They don't bath themselves. We did some language questions while reading the sentences. But you can do it in more detail. For instance, opposites. The mummy cat is big. And the kittens 
are small. You can also teach some grammar. Single cat, plural cats. You will add the s at the end of the word. One cat is. This is a cat, but more than one cat are. These are cats. Language can be fun. You can also start teaching a second language. We are going to look at Afrikaans. Ask simple questions. Wat is dit? Dit is a cat. K A T Cat. Een cat meer as een katte. Hoeveel katte kan jij tel? Kom eens kijk. Een, twee, drie, vier. Jij is baie slim. Kan jij jou eie sinnekie maak? Met die woord kat. Probeer om een bykie meer van jou eie kat vir my te vertel. In Afrikaans. Of selfs jylle buur is een kat. Use everyday situations to teach children life skills. Learning opportunities are everywhere. Keep your emotions intact. Always be kind. It is good to be the leader, but sometimes you must follow. Be on the lookout for dangerous situations. Stay away. You know what is right and what is wrong. Be cautious but friendly towards strangers. Always listen to grown-ups. If you feel uncomfortable in any situation, go and talk to someone. Remember, you are a child. Play, and through play, you will learn a lot of new things. Pets require a lot of attention. You have to find out how to look after a cat or another pet. You can learn a lot more from these cute kittens. Read a book about cats. Maybe you will find facts about lions or even watch videos. You can write a story afterwards. The possibilities are endless. Enjoy your journey in every situation. I hope from now on you will seek and find learning opportunities in everything.